Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, we're doing a q and A. I, I thought it would be fun. Um, I, I told you guys to like ask me questions having to do with YouTube. And a lot of you asked me some really weird questions too, because you guys are fucking weird. But we're going to answer all the questions today. So if, if, if somebody asks English or Spanish, I'm going to be amazed. Bird says, what's the process? Like, how do you find things to cover and stuff like that? So there's basically two types of like video topics. One I call like creative topics. These are things that you're actually passionate about and actually want to talk about and make a video about. And then you have your secondary one, which is basically just talking about or making videos on trending topics or stuff that like, you know, is going to get you views. And it's important to find a balance between both of those because if you make only shit that you're passionate about like odds are it's not gonna reach a huge audience unless you're like awesome or something but if you only make videos about trending topics and stuff and things that you probably don't give a shit about then you're just gonna want to kill yourself so you kind of have to like find a balance the best way to find trending topics to talk about if you're trying to do like commentary or something i guess is literally just go on youtube click on the trending page and then look at it for like five seconds and then just talk about it that's it and as far as the other category i don't really know how to tell you how to be creative just like have a, a personality i guess next up we have noah who asked what's the best intervals for posting like how should they start out and even out so how often should you make videos that's a really good question make as many videos as you can to where they're still good and you're not just like shitting out videos that are really bad now there is a point of diminishing returns but most of the time the more videos you put out the more you're gonna grow it's really that simple so just make as many videos as you can to the point where they're still good whether that's like a video every day or a video every week or month it's like it's it's unique to everybody uh he also asked another question uh where he asked what are milestones we should reach for as a beginner i would say the hurdles are like this your first major one is your first 100 subscribers dude your first 100 subscribers are fucking brutal dude it's so hard because you're like trying to build something up from literally nothing and nobody gives a shit about you and like the algorithm like doesn't want to promote you over people that they already have that are making money for them so it's really hard your first 100 subscribers are, are usually very hard to get after that um i would say just like go for 10,000. anybody who keeps posting consistently now that you have the ball rolling and have 100 could get to a thousand but it's like 10,000. that's like okay you're serious now like this is respectable like that that's like the respectable like okay this guy's serious it's 10,000 subscribers so like go for 100 your first 100 are gonna be really hard be proud of yourself when you reach it but the real point to where it's like bro this guy's serious yeah this guy's a youtuber that's like 10,000 subscribers and that should be like your big milestone pick up ask how do you stay motivated i have adhd and i have trouble doing a lot and it's hard to convince myself to do stuff like how do you stay motivated great question i see what you did there awesome i would say it's not really about motivation it's kind of more about do you actually give a fuck because if you give a fuck and you actually like making videos and you like actually enjoy making videos like when i'm at work i'm thinking about coming home and wanting to make videos bro like it's actually my passion if you're actually passionate about it and you enjoy like recording yourself and editing it and just it just makes you happy you won't even be worried about motivation if you're not motivated then maybe it could be that you're making videos about stuff that you're really not passionate about because when you really like doing something you're gonna want to do it right like i always say like if somebody wants to do something they're gonna do it like if you actually love making videos and you're making videos about something you love you're gonna like show up every day for it and it, you're not even gonna think about being motivated he also asked what are some challenges you have faced nowadays i'm not gonna lie youtube is kind of easy because i kind of already have the ball rolling so i don't really face that many challenges right now i kind of just sit down and record i think my biggest challenge besides just like growing the channel and like getting off the ground originally which is one of the hardest things is like finding my niche or like my place on youtube like i've moved around through a lot of different communities like i did like commentary stuff for a while i made like god of war videos dude i made shorts where i would like roast people and now i kind of just make videos about like whatever and it's just like kind of finding a place on youtube for myself was kind of hard but i think i'm happy with just making like random videos and whatever and just making like devil may cry videos and just making shorts talking about like whatever it's really fun but yeah that uh, it was kind of hard to like get to that point where you know i can find a place for myself thermo asked how do you make your video as entertaining as it can be like how do you get people to stick around i can't really give you a straight up answer as to how to make your video entertaining it kind of just comes with time right like i'd recommend if you're first starting out like when you watch youtube videos kind of like consciously watch them like don't zoom out kind of like watch the video and be like oh this is cool i like how this guy edits this or i like how this guy does that like a lot of the things that i do when i'm editing is because i've watched other people do it and i just do it in my videos so like watch other videos kind of like do things that they do without straight up copying them if they have some type of editing stuff 
style don't like straight up rip them off but just kind of like do it in your own way and kind of take inspiration that's the word like get inspiration from people if you're asking like how to straight up raise your watch time it's just literally just make your videos good um definitely make sure you have good equipment like there's nothing worse that will put you at a greater detriment than having a shit mic like that's the number one thing if your mic i don't care if the video is filmed in 144p right i will watch it if it's something i'm actually interested in and want to learn about but the video could be in like 8k and have a shit mic and i will not watch it like you have to get a good mic brand dinosaur asks, how can you grow a community on youtube i want to try and grow one on my channel and i can find ways to get multiple subscribers by just spamming shorts but i don't necessarily want to do that so when i hear community what i think of is like a bunch of people who kind of regularly show up to watch your videos a good way is to do what I just did and start a Discord so you can kind of interact with them people and have them all in one place and kind of like create that community. But you have to kind of have your channel already kind of grown to a point where people are watching your videos to where a community can even be built from it. Because like nobody's gonna join your Discord if no one watches your shit. And the way you get people to watch your stuff is you just make good videos and be consistent. So how do you grow a community on YouTube? It comes down to consistently make good videos, right? Which is easier said than done, but you can do it. Capcomic Edits ask, when will you return to roasting cringe YouTubers? I'm not. Dina asks, how were your first years on YouTube? So I'm kind of still in my first years on YouTube. I've only been doing this for two years. I made this channel in like March of 2022. So like two and a, two and a half years, I think. March of next year will be three years old. So I'm still kind of in my first years, but like when I was first starting, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of already came in with a plan a little bit like not trying to sound like some fucking stuck up asshole but i knew that a trend was kind of going on with people like making commentary videos about like meowba and like jelly bean because i would see those videos on like instagram reels and stuff the first video i made was me like talking about some drama about this youtuber named meowba because like i would see this shit on instagram reels all the time i i couldn't find a video where anybody just like summed it up so i made this channel and i was just like oh damn we'll find a need fill a need right so i just made that video and that video immediately Immediately popped off right and it's like i'm very thankful for that a lot of people that make their channels their first video or first couple videos usually don't pop off but i got like I, my first hundred subs like the first day and i got my first thousand subs like in my first two days which i'm not saying this to just be like an like an asshole or something i'm just saying this to like answer your question it, it was very smooth because i kind of came in with like a plan and i kind of just filled like a need basically uh ray asked will you do let's plays or walkthroughs on your channel you mean if you mean like the rad brad type shit where you just like play a game and give a walkthrough no i'm probably never gonna do that with that kind of content like the barely edited gameplay videos that's like seniority or something like if you are you have to make those videos for like 10 years bro like the rad brad was making videos for like literally like years upon years right to get to the point where he was right now unless you have some kind of seniority or like people know you and are just watching because it's like you're not watching for the game you're watching because the person's personality and who they are most of the time but it's like i'm not really at that level where i can just make a video playing through a game with barely any editing and people like will give a fuck enough to watch it and also i don't really like videos like that that much cat on fire ask what's your favorite game my favorite game of all time is doom eternal i have like over like 600 hours on that game my second favorite is like a 500 way tie between batman arkham city borderlands 2 god of war 2018 devil may cry 5 and monster hunter world you have not lived until you tried all of these out uh nope ask hollow knight or bloodborne and why I've, I've played neither actually bloodborne looks pretty cool if it comes to pc i'll play it bro i don't think nico and lady and trish could come into my room right now and convince me to boot up my playstation 4 again and and put bloodborne on like there's no one on the on the world who can convince me to play my ps4 the pasta guy ask any good thumbnail tips so this is what i'll say right nothing is more important than the topic of the video right you can have the shittiest thumbnail ever you can not have a thumbnail you can have the shittiest title ever right you can have no tags no description no nothing and the video is about something that people give a fuck about and is like popular or trending right now and the video will get a hundred thousand views it's good that you're focused on thumbnails but the number one most important thing is what the video is actually about you could have the greatest thumbnail in human history you could have leonardo da vinci and michelangelo come back to life and like paint you the, the fucking perfect thumbnail in the history of humanity but the video is on like how to plant pumpkin seeds right and no it's not gonna get any views gaming lord asks, what types of videos made you popular so i kind of grew to the subscriber count that i'm at right now in waves like i, I would say i like kind of like had spikes where i grew really fast multiple times so it wasn't just like one 
video but i would say some of the videos that really had me grow a lot were like the first video i ever made the first couple actually when i was like talking about like cringy youtubers that got me to like 10k subs pretty quick um then i got into a beef with a youtuber named synthetic man and like ruined his life and then that blew up the channel like insane like i got a few hundred thousand subscribers from that and then i started making fun of youtubers like zong and youtube shorts and that pushed me all the way to a million and then like i slowly accumulated another like hundred thousand after that so it's kind of like it grew in waves right but right now the channel's starting to grow again with me making like the goofy virgil content and like talking about like movies and like devil may cry yeah guys um that's all the questions i'm going to be answering today i don't want to make the video too long uh maybe we'll do this another time and i'll answer like some more questions i missed there's just so many uh thank you guys so much for watching uh if you want to join the discord server to kind of like I, I don't know i don't really know how to convince you to join i'll just leave the link in the comments um but yeah thanks again for watching i'll see you guys later